my experience in music has always been with respect to apprenticeships, really long, often long, as well as fleeting contacts and encounters, long-term relationships with my teacher and my teacher's teacher. So we had, well, the last, this, my teacher was named Fleming Brown and his teacher was named Doc Hopkins. And Doc was from Harlan County, Kentucky and came to Chicago in 1930 to sing on the National Barn Dance. And uh, Doc taught Fleming beginning, uh, so Doc came there in 1930, Fleming, he started giving him lessons in 1948. And then I met Fleming in 1972 and then started playing as Doc's accompanist to the end of his life. And he, he actually outlived Fleming. So Fleming passed away in 1984, Doc in 1988. And the last time that Fleming and Doc and I were ever together, Fleming said something very poignant. He said, we are a family. A family is not necessarily just blood. And so there was a lot of care that they gave. They'd sometimes say, oh, you sound like a piano falling down a staircase and stuff like that. I mean, it was, you know, if it didn't sound right or good to them, or Doc would say, you've got, got that melody at that right but at the same time he said with melody he said you know do your own puts like an old pair of britches he said you put a new patch on it so he there was room there to do your own um bring your own ideas to something as well as what's inherited so i i don't know about really the sternness that i think that you're describing although i can imagine it i sort of steer clear i think of that Many of the people, the older generation players that I was fortunate enough to meet, both black and white, m m men and women, I guess the oldest of whom was born in the late 1880s, uh, there was usually a, a great deal of warmth, uh, a happy to have visitors who cared. And uh, so I, 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 I don't think that this quite the same as chamber music where there's perhaps something written that's fixed where I, 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 I'm sure there's people who have thoughts that it has to go one way or another, but I, I, I again, I, I, that's not a concern of mine. Um, I'm, I'm too busy trying to learn the melody as it is and play it. I, I then to get involved in those, in those, internecine warfare. I, I, uh, yeah, I, 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 I hear you. I, yeah. I'm, I'm with you. I, I'm, I agree with you. Um, I've had the same experience when, when you know, playing traditional jazz here in New Orleans with with older musicians. You know, they're very warm and open. Um, yeah. To uh, um, that, they're happy to, to that to share the music and share the, and share yeah. you know the art form with you. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I, it, it is in just this collective experience of these songs, and then all these different, you know, uh, you know individual contributors as i said that's an, a, an extraordinary thing that's a different kind of creativity than um one person's work alone and and at the same time these are all artists who have individual styles and voices and sounds that uh, uh that bear our attention demand our attention or, or or might compel our attention i guess 